Hey everybody, it's Mr. Sauer. I uh, want to welcome back my subscribers. Welcome anybody new tuning in. Um, today I'm doing a quick little video on what is HPLVD or Dudding disease and the different forms that it takes. Um, I've lost numerous plants to this shit, so and it's supposedly becoming quite an issue um, across uh, Canada, really bad in Canada and America right now. And so it's only a matter of time before it starts to get to the rest of the world. Um, but I wanted to do a little video and show you guys plants that have it and the different signs that I've noticed of it being there. Okay, and the easiest ones to, to see. And not, or node spacing is obviously one, um, but that's usually not one I can, I, you can, I pick up off of, but you can see it here how it's mis, you know, how they're not. There's, the, the length thing's jumping. Um, but that's not the easiest one to tell by. Um, the easiest one that I usually can tell by is, I don't know if you can see it, but this is where it was starting to flower and you see it has like a lot of brown in it and then the pistils are just kind of shriveled. The tips of them are kind of shriveled. Um, obviously you can see the nutrient intake's messed up. Um, it does that as well. Uh, decreased trichromes, which this does obviously have some decrease in it. You can see it should be a little frostier, but it's not. Um, and it can, see the weird thing about this virus is this half of the plant is pretty infected. But then when you come over to this side of the plant, you know, stuff looks a little healthier. Um, yeah, I mean, it still has it, but it's nowhere near as bad as far as the pistol showing it and stuff. So the, this virus can affect certain parts of your plant. Um, like I was just showing you, for example, this side's got it really bad, this side it's present but it's not like that side this is hurting more from the uh, nutrients being messed up or intake from the virus um, the virus just basically blocks the receptors and makes it so that the flower does not grow appropriately or the way it should so like it won't have trichromes or the pistils will you know be messed up or whatever it'll make the plant do things that it not doesn't normally do and it doesn't always show itself in the same way um, from what I've experienced now I'm sure people have a lot more experience with this virus than I do um, but I know I've gotten my ass kicked by this virus here recently and so this one here obviously this was growing great and then uh, we went into flowering and then you can kind of see how the how the leaves almost have a different kind of texture to them um, so this one's obviously experiencing uh, nutrient problems as well being blocked um, as I'm showing potassium deficiency Actually, that's a new perm, because they're all curled up. Yeah, they're curling up, so actually that's probably a new perm. I did try to give it some more potassium, tried to snap it out of it, but what I'm showing you here is, you see how these leaves got this kind of texture to them? This is another thing I've seen common with it. Um, this is pretty much a for sure sign from what I've noticed, and the way it shows itself in leaves, if it's gonna show itself that way. Um, I had this in my auto flower room the same way. And the sad thing about this virus is extremely tough. It can survive in bleach and water mixture for over an hour. Um, so it's like anything that you, but it does need a living plant to spread. So basically, if you're using trimmers or anything, you get it on your hands, like how I'm having full contact with it right now. I'm not working on no more healthy plants today. so. The virus can only survive for a few hours outside of a host, so it'll die off the time I come back down here and mess with this stuff again. I did get a little water on it earlier. I was keeping it alive, but I think I'm actually just getting ready to cut it down after this video. I wanted to show you what it was doing. Um, like here, you can see the flowering. It just, it just ain't right. It's And it also has the shriveled pistols and stuff inside there. Um, I know it's really hard to see in the video. But I was really wanting to show them to you. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that's another way it's showing itself in the plant. And like these should be, like, if I remember right, I'm into the 
fourth or fifth week of flowering so obviously you know major issues here like these these two were all shifted at the, at the same time um and actually and here is my other two it's a little noisier in here um let me pull these out okay so i don't know if we can really see here Gotta get to where I can see. All right, so on this one, um, it has it as well. And get it over here a little more. Um, this plant, it's infected in different spots, like down here more. As you can see, the exact same kind of shit going on. Got the same leaf, leaf texture starting right there toward the center that the other ones had got the shriveled pistols um, you can see it works its way up um, if I can get the camera to focus on it but yeah this definitely has it as well like these plants are all in here together when I initially discovered I had the virus um, these were all small and I was just to the point where I just started to train them or why well, actually I didn't even train them yet um, but I didn't realize how strong this virus was and that it could live in bleach for up to an hour and it got transferred over um, somewhere in the course of things. Um, this one's not showing, like I said, the, the, the older leaves really aren't showing it so much. Um, and the whole plant's really not infected. Like you see this here's growing right. But yet this here, you can see where it's starting to infect it. I can get the camera on it. Sorry, I'm kind of standing in an awkward angle. Um, but I'm really wanting to show people what this is like, what this looks like, especially in the female plants. Um, this plant here also has it. Um, like I said, these plants were doing awesome. As you see, they're pretty nice size. Um, they were doing really good. I couldn't even tell they had it until um, probably about a week, and a, a week ago or so. Um, but on this one here, this one is showing different symptoms. It's an overall, it's kind of lighter colored. But again, you can see the shriveled pistols, um, just the, like the, the dudded growth um, as far as the colas go. I want to thank everybody again for liking and subscribing. This virus has been quite a tragedy for me um, as far as growing my medicine. But like I said, I'm getting ready to uh, wipe everything out and start fresh. Like I said, I'm not touching anything else today because it is all over my hands and arms. Um, but if I can get the camera to focus. But you can see the pistols and stuff are just shriveled on them. Um, that's the number one sign that you have it. And like I said, if any part of your plant shows this, the whole plant's infected. It's just, some plants can even be asymptomatic. That's like how I was showing you in this one. Um, parts of it were still looking okay, but then there's other parts that are not. Um, the same with the other one that was in the other room. Um, so, but I wanted to show everybody. And then on this one also, it's also been acting like it has um, nitrogen deficiency, which is part of the disease where uh, messes up the intake so I've been losing a lot of leaves falling off of it because it, you know it can't it's not taking in nutrition right and then what nutrition it is taking in it ain't working with it right so um, but yeah I just want to show you a couple of things especially with the pistols and stuff um, it does show a lot on that there is something wrong I do want to thank everybody again, like I said, for liking and subscribing. Um, this, these, this, uh, this virus is horrible. Um, like I said, I've lost a lot of plants to it already. Um, all four of these are probably going to get cut down here in the very near future. Um, I'm just kind of riding them out right now. I really haven't been adding no more nutrition to them. I've just kind of been keeping the pH right and adding more water to them. As far as like putting more expense beside running this light on them, I have really been avoiding that. Um, but like I said, the bigger one out in the other room that one's probably going to get cut down today 
and disposed of. And then um, this one here is probably gonna get the same because it is fully infected. Every single cola has has it on there. So this one will get probably cut down today and disposed of. And then I'll probably just try to ride this one and that other one out just a little bit longer. Even the other one in the other room, I think that one's probably gonna end up getting cut down. This might produce some colas, maybe. Um, it does have some promising signs and spots, but it also shows it in spots. So it's hard to say. Anything can change in a matter of days. So it is what it is, I guess, at this point. And the best way I found to get rid of this is kill everything, start totally fresh. And that's what I'm kind of waiting on my auto flower room to finish. Um, as soon as that really gets done, then it's a it's game on for you know getting rid of all of this. And this is purely tinkering with it right now seeing if I can get it to do something on the ones that have a chance uh, like I said some don't like this one here this big one doesn't it's yeah the lost cause um, the big one out there is a lost cause this one here might have a couple good colas on it maybe but um, for the most part yeah I'm just waiting to cut up all the other room down then I'm gonna cut this room down then I'm gonna start everything brand new and fresh get everything clean and sterile actually i've even ordered new material new new buckets air stones that whole works the whole whole setup i'm ordered all of it and i even got a different light i'm going to put in here so but uh but yeah this was my little um how you can identify hplbd easy like in flowering um when they're smaller in vegging i i have i don't have i i can't pick, figure it or see it yet when they're in vegging but when they're flowering, I definitely can. And uh, like I said, so I wanted to show everybody um, the best I could of what this looks like. Like I said, it's a shame to put this much time and effort into growing some nice big plants and then losing them due to a virus. But like I said, this virus is, has been taking um, uh, the Americas and Canada all by storm. And it's been spreading pretty bad and it's being spread by these breeders. I guess they either refuse to test their breeding stock or they're just don't want to take the loss on seeds and money and just don't care. Um, so I guess until there is regulation, um, they won't give a shit and it'll just keep bouncing around because you can get it in a dirty seed very easily. That's how I first got it. And like it's a 10% chance from a dirty, dirty uh, plant mother to come to you. So yeah. Um, so good luck everybody. I hope nobody gets this nasty shit. And if you do, I'm really sorry. And if anything, maybe this video might help you identify what it really is. But um, but like I said, I just tried to show you the best things, the best signs that I can see um, what when, when, when you have it and what's being shown. So um, thanks again, everybody. Um, happy growing. Um, I'm on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram profile ID is monster underscore autoflowers all lowercase and then my grow diaries id is roberts r-o-b-e-r-t-s um, thanks again everybody have a good one